Hey, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So today it's going to be all about Donald Trump's loves all these women all the way back and how each one has just proven to be a disaster for him. And why hasn't that mattered? Knowing that, why doesn't that matter to people who are willing to have this guy leave their country? So that's what the video will be about. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you have subscribed, please subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Yeah, I for one can't believe uh, that there are so many people who are willing to just put aside the fact that this man has cheated on every wife that he's ever had with the next potential wife. And then started, and probably all along, but we figured out, started doubling down uh, with uh, Melania, with the uh, porn stars, with just vulnerable women who should have known better. And, 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 and even probably with the Epstein crowd. I mean... He was just this horrible person, and why doesn't that matter to people? Why are people willing to vote that kind of a person into office? To it, it, Let's see what the cards can tell us about any of that. All right, so we're going to use this uh, Solo Busca Tarot and uh, see how this works out for us. Uh, these are really neat, uh, colorful, uh, interesting cards, and uh, but they're hard to read, so we'll see what happens. Um, let me put this off to the side. Hopefully that can be seen. So yeah, Donald Trump and his women and brides and whatever they are, um, all the way back. I've got a list here. Let me look at it off to the side here. Um, so present day, we've got E. Jean Carroll, the woman who sued him. She won $5 million and now she's, he continued to badmouth her and now she's taking back for $10 million. It looks like she'll get it. So E. Jean Car Carroll. And then Stormy Daniels before that, the porn star, who was just, you know, a trick, just fun. Just, and somehow, uh, you know, he felt like he really needed to pay uh, her off and did it through the uh, third party company. What a mess. And then um, before that was, oh, Karen McDougal, who was just a sweet kid, like a Playboy Bunny kind of person she may have even been, and who wasn't ready to tell him her, admit to herself that, oh yeah, I'm out here selling my body to maybe get ahead. But that's basically what she was. Sweet girl though, Karen McDougal, that one, he lost that. And then uh, we have Melania Trump. You know, what else do you think Melania was looking for when she found Donald Trump, except what she found, Donald Trump? And he made her uh, famous. He paid to have her promoted as if she was a famous model. She never really was. And um, not that she wasn't good, but she wasn't a supermodel or anything. As, and before that, uh, Ivana Trout, who uh, was never a, an Olympic skiing star, but that's who he promoted her as. And, uh, and then in between all that, Marla Maples, who was the fun time after Ivana and before Melania. And... Um, she was just like a school teacher or something. just a regular southern girl uh, but she fit the picture blonde and really fit so all of this and we all know about all of this why is it okay just to put it into the back of our minds but before we do any of that let's have just a moment of meditation So what in the world is, um, is that all about? I guess we have to start. We'll do three cards and see if any of, any of it looks like it might want to blend itself into a combined reading for those. So three cards, four. We'll start with uh, E. Jean Carroll. What can the cards tell us about E. Jean Carroll and Trump? One, two, and three. So E. Jean Carroll, 
And I think that may be another thing where maybe she wasn't all that innocent, but maybe she was. Um, so we start out here with the Ten of Cups. So the Ten of Cups is, a, is an awful lot of... Cups are, are emotional. You could say it's worry. So Ten of Cups is an awful lot of emotional baggage, kind of. Um, but it's also um, a familial, almost or a generational amount of value. So Ten of Cups uh, for... Eugene Carroll, and then we come up with the CE11, and these are also uh, cups. So this is the Jack of Cups, who's just, it's like, the, it's like a page. Um, it's just bringing this emotional message uh, still in this, so Eugene Carroll. And then the final one, oh, okay, with this Nine of Wands. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot to get past. There's a lot of action going on here. <coughs> it's all emotional. But one more card, uh, does she prevail? Now uh, look at this, we have the King of Swords. So uh, justice, truth, justice, rules, and law. That's what prevails. So interesting, so that's her. Now, um, before her is Stormy Daniels, is that right? Uh, you can hear Stormy Daniels, yeah. So she's, is hers all done? It seems like maybe it's not, but let's just pull maybe a couple cards at random for Stormy Daniels in relation to Trump. One, two, Stormy Daniels, and Trump. First card up. Again, look at that, that Ten of Cups. And um, also, yeah, a, a lot, eight of, of wands. Eight of wands. Yeah, just a lot of stuff coming at you. Even if it's an eight of swords, there's a lot coming at you at the same time and not a good, and not a good position to be in. So, okay. Stormy Daniels has the upper hand in that. Then uh, Karen McDougal. You know, she's been out of the picture for a long time. She's like, thought she was a legit girlfriend. And um, and I think Trump was just playing with her like a, you know, playing like a cat plays with a mouse. So Karen McDougal, a couple cards for her in relation to Trump. One, two. Okay. Okay, so this is again these are cups. So one, two, three, four, five of cups. Five of cups is just, you know, an emotional burden. Okay. And then the next thing is the okay, this would be the high priestess. This is okay, this is the major first major account. So this is the high priestess. So for Karen McDougal, she has risen above it. Okay, it's emotional baggage is in her past, as a matter of fact. Then before a Karen McDougal was, um, oh, Melania. What about Melania? I just don't think she cares. I think maybe, maybe it turned into more of a job than she thought it should have. But I think she's hanging on until the end and see what does the widow get when it's all over with. So that's where I think that's at. Melania Trump, three cards for her. One, because that is how it will end, as a matter of fact. She will be the widow. And she would be entitled to the most of whatever, unless there's some other arrangement. So three of swords, and um, so yeah, this is uh, disappointing. Three of wands, rather. Yeah, long-term plans. Uh, and these are being almost like a funeral wreath. So those are long-term plans. And so this uh, is the uh, for, this is the queen of pentacles. Yeah, and look, she wants peace. So the queen of pentacles, Melania. And uh, final here, the ace of cups, which is great big. Yeah, she's going to walk away with everything. Yeah. And, and some uh, sympathy. <laughs> That's interesting. She would have just won the game. Is all it is. Then uh, before Melania, we had uh, Marla Maples. Marla Maples, I think she was just a model, uh, wannabe actress, perhaps. Another, uh, she was the Ivana Light. Okay, so Ivana knew how to be flashy, and e Marla knew how to be blonde and coquettish enough to interest some businessmen. 
but uh, Marla Maples. One, two, because she's a very, uh, she's a retired, uh, gracious uh, grandmother now, I think. So yeah, she carried that emotional burden with this Eight of Cups. Um, the Two of Swords is she had to make a choice. And um, the Seven of Cups was that everything was an illusion for the whole time for Marla. But uh, she came out okay in the end. And then finally, uh, Ivana Trump. Ivana Trump, who just passed away. It looks to me like she was the big winner. She got maybe the truest real Donald Trump as a real person than any of them. And maybe he wasn't that bad, perhaps. Wasn't that manic uh, when she was there. But uh, what about her? But I mean, he used her right up until the end to get that uh, property um, tax status as a family burial uh, ground. Poor Ivana, what's going on? I wonder if she even looks back at this. This should be way beyond her. So here we have the Seven of Swords, and so that's uh, an abuse of power. Here we have that Ten of Cups, that big emotional load to carry. And uh, then here we have, what is this one? Is this the Fool? This is the Fool. A new journey. Yeah, she's off on something else. She's done, but uh, this is what it was. Interesting, poor Donald. So, Donald Trump is um, the women in his life. Hang on, I'm gonna show you the cards. Okay, so this Sola Busca Tarot uh, are great cards. These are museum quality, and uh, these are uh, in the era of the Italian Renaissance. So, love these cards, Los Carabio, amazing box that come in, look at that. And uh, you really feel like you got a great gift if you got these. The book is pretty cool too, but it's not in color, but it's a lot of interesting story. I mean, you have to be interested in reading this to kind of get through the book, but there's some good tips on divination in there too. The cards um, are great. I mean, they're slick, they're big. Um, so that's something that makes them a little bit hard to use. But, um, you know, these date back from around, like I said, the mid to late 1700s, I guess. And they're an assemblage of different uh, uh, examples of cards from a couple different uh, museum pieces, I think, or private collections. And then they put them together to make this whole 78 card stack. But, I mean, look, I mean, they're gorgeous. You see them? How beautiful they are and colorful. It's just hard to use them. Um, you just have to commit to uh, how are you going to uh, work out your divination. So... Really love these cards. I'm so glad I got them. Solabuska Tarot. And, um, but honestly, I don't use them that often because they're a little tricky to use. Gosh, and look what a mess I made trying to do this. You know, this is a good way to mix the cards up. And uh, if you want somebody, if you're doing a reading and you want to kind of get their energy into the cards, I mean, look how much you have to handle them to get them back together. So that's all good uh, for me as far as getting the uh, cards uh, mixed up with some good uh, juju.